Crafty Hope and I am here to do hopefully a pretty quick project. I just did the other day a roundup of some Earth Day projects that you might want to do and one of those was a wind chime made out of like some cookie cutters. Well the link that I have to it is just an image and I have searched all over the internet trying to find a an original source for that and it's just not there it's gone and so I thought I'd try to make that project myself and show y'all how to do it so I'm gonna switch over to my desk view and let y'all have a look at how I'm gonna try to make this here we are at my desk to make the wind chimes now to start this you can use one of the cookie cutter type things that they have in the original picture or you can even um, amp up your recycling a little bit more and use something like a tuna or chicken can or even like a vegetable type can now if you're going to use the tuna cans i'm going to use where the peel up tops so the edges are a little sharp but i'm going to work around that if you have one that's a crank a lot of times you get a little bit of a um, I don't know a hazard right there so I just take a hammer or something and hammer that down a little bit just to kind of smooth that out so you don't have something super pokey in there to work around excuse the dog she's going a little crazy right now <laughs> um, once you get you know your edges down or whatever you're going to punch holes. Now I've already punched holes in this one and I use what's called a Euro punch. It's just pretty big industrial like metal hole punch. But you could also use a smaller metal punch or an awl or even a nail with a hammer. Now that's what I'm going to use to get because I need a hole in the back of this and none of my other tools are going to give me that. So I'm going to work and I like to work on a like a wood surface and not my actual surface because if that goes through I don't want a hole in my desk. So a lot of times I would normally work in the floor but I'm trying to be up on my desk. So I'm just going to find the center a little bit and it doesn't have to be perfectly centered but do the best you can and just bang a hole in there just like that and I have a hole now for the holes around it you can do the same thing whether you work from the inside I would suggest from the inside so you don't get some of the distorting you would get from the outside it might flatten some but if it's easier for you to work it from the outside do that now what I'm gonna do from here is add all of my elements now Again, this I'm trying to do it as a, an eco-friendly kind of project. And so I've gathered a bunch of upcycling materials. I've got some old jewelry pieces. I mean, some things that I'll never work into my own jewelry. I've got pop caps, or these are actually beer caps. I've got old bells and keys and crystals and, of course, buttons so and I don't even know I think there's an old safety pin in here so just any kind of little things I've got bolts and all kinds of stuff so and I am going to work with some um some wire I have sitting around this is just some junky wire that I don't like to use in my jewelry and then a bunch of jump rings anytime I take jewelry apart I just save the jump rings and put them aside so that I can use them in things like this and then I've got some again junky chain that I took out of some old upcycled things and don't really want in my jewelry and that I can use to hang my finished pieces so I'm gonna take these things along with my jewelry making tools my pliers and whatnot and make one of these now I'll probably go ahead and move my board off and um, get a better clear space for y'all to watch me do this and speed it up and I will get back to you when we get done. To start the process, I laid out a bunch of the materials, kind of picking and choosing what I wanted. I ended up going with kind of a black and white and red theme for the um, this first wind chime. And so I laid out, kind of designed how I wanted. I realized I had eight holes around it, so I figured out what eight stripes I wanted. And then I started wiring those pieces together. I used that junky wire I have and just did some wrap loops um, off the top and the bottom of the buttons or anything that didn't have some kind of connector. The buttons especially needed a little more room than the um, some of the other elements. Some of the things I was able to, especially with the beads, I was able to just do a simple loop at the top and the bottom and then use jump rings to check, connect everything else. I used some larger jump rings um, at the to connect it to the tin cans to make sure that I could get 
enough room to go into the tin can with the holes that are there. And so I'm this here, you're just going to see me connecting most of these things together. And hopefully um, you get a sense of what I'm doing here. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments below, but enjoy the rest of this process. Thanks. <music> had all of those outer elements added and hanging, I decided to add the large charm to the center. So I cut down some chain and made a wrapped loop and connected the chain to the wrapped loop and then added a bead to that wire and threaded the wire up into the center hole and then top that with another bead and made a wrap loop at the top of that. And from that wrap loop at the top, I used a jump ring to hat hang a little bit more chain and added a larger jump ring at the top so that the the whole thing can hang from something and after that I was really just done with it so here's a good look at it here's the one I did on camera and that pretty and then I made a second one and this one doesn't have like a center hanger thing which I think is fine um, I was just experimenting I had that big old piece so I thought it would be neat to put in there so I'm gonna go hang these outside get some pictures and um, give you a better look at them so I hope you enjoyed that let me know below if you have any questions or comments or ideas or um, and if you like this give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe um, follow me on Instagram uh, Twitter all those other things as crafty hope so thanks for coming by I'll talk to you later bye